Hi y'all, uh, thanks for visiting the channel. Uh, just want to talk regarding uh, RTE and the debacle that's unfolding there at the moment with payments. Uh, Leo Veracker said that uh, regarding the irregular payments, I'm just going to be reading out a few notes here, that they may be on the wrong side of the law. And the chief financial officer said that taxpayers may have been defrauded. Now, in the context of this, we had uh, what appears to be top up payments to, you know, what they call their tops, one of their top stars. And also, uh, there's a big questions on the failure of corporate governance in this organisation and financial governance. Now, some of the issues that came up was that uh, for the Rugby World Cup in Japan, they spent 111,000. They bought tickets for the uh, RFU, Irish Rugby, uh, for 10 years for 138,000. They spent 26,000 on the Champions League and they had trips to the K Club and I think they went to a U2 as well concert. Like, uh, the accountant question is that they're calling it a barter fund, which is sort of a slush fund. A lot of people are referring to it as a slush fund. And another thing as well is the CFO, the Chief Financial Officer, when was asked at a sitting at the Public Accounts Committee how much money was he on a year, he said he didn't know. Now that's very puts a very dim look on things when your main man involved in all finances can't even tell you what he's on. So at the moment they're saying that they're going to bring a, an external re reviewer in to look at the corporate culture and governance etc like that. I don't agree like that that's the only method for dealing with this. Uh, I believe that revenue should be sent in to audit the, the actual organisation and some of the top people where there's a question mark. Now I'm not saying there's anything right, I'm not saying that they do not anything wrong these top people, but uh, if you went in with say the revenue and if the the Gardaí send in a forensic accounting unit, a good big team in there. And don't just focus on that barter fund. I reckon a lot of people are being focused on that a lot. There's a few other accounts in there that say he's looking at it as well. And uh, you have 85% of the money RTE gets coming from the taxpayer. That's ordinary people, uh, not even taxpayers. It's a mandatory uh, license fee. So you have people going to jail that can't afford it to keep these people in the opulent lifestyle that they're in. So the government's saying that they want to do an external report. The Public Accounts Committee saying that they might send an auditor in, which is all well and good, but some of that stuff can be withheld down the road if it's too damaging. Whereas if you have a forensic accounting team coming in from the Gardaí and they actually find something, uh, th there is a chance that there's going to be jail time for people. And the other thing about sending in a, a forensic accounting team from the Gardaí, which is our law enforcement, or from the revenue. If there's nothing wrong with the organisation, they'll find that there's nothing wrong, and the people will know that there's nothing wrong. And that will also go with the, the, the Gardaí. If they go in find nothing, you know that it was a proper uh, forensic evaluation from a criminal uh, point of view, from a criminality point of view. And if there's anything there that uh, needs to be dealt with, uh, they get a whatever sanction through the law. But the way it is now is it's all smoke and mirrors the way it is in the past. It's going to look brilliant, like, oh, they're going to do a look at, uh, you know, the corporate governance and they're going to get external people to do reports and all that. That doesn't wash because that's, uh, there's no jail time at the end if anybody is below board. You know what I mean? If there is anything shady going on, it'll be just washed, uh, you know, put under the carpet. Whereas if you just go in straight, like if you were going dealing with any other company in Ireland uh, to be no, none of this oh we'll get an external review we'll get an auditor blah 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 you want an auditor with teeth with the back of the state law going in there and what they find they find but at the end of the day whether they find bad practice or good practice what will it will mean will that the government uh, the governance of RTE will be uh, shown in its true light and if it's good, the people will be reassured that are paying the licenses. 
And if it's bad, they'll also know where their money's going. Thanks.